What is up, everybody? Jason here with Jazby's. Uh, we just sold out another Chase the Mantle promo break. This one is a hip parade, guys. 24 25. Uh, hip parade basketball autographed a limited edition series three, guys, which is a dual case break. Now, remember, each case has 10 boxes, one card per box, 20 total hits. Uh, random teams number one, guys. So, big thank you to everybody that bought in straight up, and of course, congratulations. To the customers here that want in from a pack filler for a fraction of the price, guys. Um, there's a teams. We'll do the break. Then at the end, we'll randomize the original list. And one person is going to get a chance to chase the mantle, guys, for that promo break. So let's uh, roll the dice and let's do the break. So we got five and a three eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So five, three, eight, Zane down to Nicholas. All right. Eight times. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Thunder down to the Suns. All right, so Zane, you have the Thunder, Kev with the Rockets, Courtney with the Celtics, b -Fitz, you have the uh, Pelicans, Justin with the Spurs, TJ with the Heat, Berg with the Nets, Mark with the Nets, uh, or sorry, Mark with the, uh, Berg with the Nets, Mark with the Hornets, is what I meant to say. b -Fitz with the Timberwolves, Nicholas, you have the 76ers, Eric with the Warriors, Isaac with the Hawks and Raptors, Chad with the Knicks, Joe with the Bulls, George with the Utah Jazz, Mark with the Bucks, Tristan with the Magic, Mark with the Grizzlies, Tristan with the Pistons, Burke with the Wizards, Isaac with the Lakers, Nicholas with the Mavericks, Joe with the Pacers, Dustin with the Clippers, Tristan with the Kings, Nicholas with the Nuggets, Ryan with the Cavs, Pat with the Blazers, and Nicholas with the Phoenix Suns. Alright guys, well if you guys want to make any trades, I'll give you guys a quick trade window. Remember, just trade amongst yourselves in the chat if there's other people that want to trade. And remember guys, also too... Uh, don't forget about that filler for the baseball guys. That's I think at 15 now. I wanna say 15 left. Also to uh, the filler that sells out uh, both Immaculate and NT as well is almost halfway there. So those are the two fillers I wanna sell out tonight. 19 left in the uh, filler for the Immaculate NT, and then, like I said, actually 13 left in the Hip Parade Duel. I'm assuming no trades, guys, so TWC trade window closed. So we have two cases worth here, guys. Let's open up the first one. And remember, series three, case one of 10. All right, 
right, here we go. Walk, box 100 of 100. Nice. Let's see what's in the last box they put together. Or at least the last box they hand up, I should say. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First one. And it is a Zach Levine. How about that? Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. That's a rookie autograph from Prism. That's 1415. Uh, 396 out of 499. Timberwolves going to be fits. Next one here. 77 of 100. Tyler Hero, Miami, that's going to uh, the Heat, and TJ Leonard, that's a, uh, is that an optic reader? Yeah, that's a rookie, Tyler Hero, 1920. Where is Zach, is Zach Levine still uh, on Chicago? I hear DeRozan might get traded. Oh, they're trying to bring him back home. Y'all didn't deserve them neither. Vince Carter, Fresh Ink, Toronto Raptors edition. Isaac, there you go, man. 2000. Flair Showcase. Really? Is, wait, is he... Is he just... I mean, he was injured earlier this year, right? For, like, an extended period of time? Does he have problems, too? Does nobody just wants him anymore? <laughs> He probably has a huge-ass contract that people probably don't want to take on, I'd assume. We're rather than CP3 walk. <laughs> Interesting. Ah. Can't blame the guy, but yeah. Red Rookie. Franz Wagner to 99. Orlando, that's going to uh, Tristan. It's a Raider rookie. That's from uh, Donner's Choice. But yeah, I feel like most of the big moves have already kind of happened, right? Now it's just more of those like trade and sign type of deals now. And I think some of them have already happened, right? I don't really know if the Thunder are going to get any more bigger players, per se. I feel like they kind of got what they wanted, per se, or at least got what they wanted to give up or sign. I think they still have a little bit of money left to add another player to, but I don't know. Oh. Wendell Carter, Jr., Nice RPA from NT to 49. Uh, Chicago Bulls. Bulls. Where are the Bulls? Joe! Yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? Unless the Superstar wants out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like, those kind of players with those big, big contracts and stuff. Um, I was also hearing that the, the Clippers are extending uh, the deadline for, like, Westbrook because I think they're trying to trade him, too. I feel like the Thunder should just bring Westbrook back home so he can retire. I'd love to see Westbrook back in there. Ooh, Darius Garland's out there? Yeah, that dude's a baller. What's up, Rex?
And nice. How about a Jamal Murray? Immaculate Collegiate RPA. 26 out of 99. Oh, trade for... Oh, is he, is he like... A, is, is he requesting a lot of money and, and Cavs don't want to sign him? I thought they would want to sign him. I haven't paying attention too much to those people that are looking for a trade or at least available. Um, that's, of course, going to go to the Nuggets, which is Nicholas. So there you go. That's nice. Your Spurs do any action this year? Uh, Lassie, I don't even know if I... Seen so much. I seen that they were trading Devontae Graham. Whoa. That sounded really loud. That is a home run. Yelich just tied it. And. Kristaps Porzingis, Modern Marks, 3 out of 25, and that is, of course, a Knicks edition. So New York Knicks going to Chad B. Ooh. And, yeah, they sided with Mitchell, right, because he got that big contract. So, yeah, it looks like Kaz, man. Well, I mean, I think they would get a decent haul for Garland. He's pretty good. But that would suck. I mean, you would think they'd want to try to win together, but... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They added CP3. That's that's actually a perfect fit for them, actually. CP3 is kind of winding down, but he's still pretty good. And he'll definitely be able to hop out the young players on there. And then we got uh, Balil. Koulibaly. Little RPA from Select. And that's from uh, first or Fast Break, I think. Or actually, this is from H2, I want to say, actually. Which, same thing. H2, I should say. Uh, Washington Wizards going to Burke. Boop, 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 boop. I remember Lossio, to be honest, CP3 when he was with the Thunder that one year when they traded him from the Rockets in 2019, uh, SGA's first year there. SGA learned a lot from CP3, man. And that year, I remember the Thunder weren't even a playoff contending team, and they actually made the playoffs. And ironically, I think they had to play the Rockets too, but um, in the first round. But that was a really, really good. That was a good year for the Thunder, just kind of learning from CP3 too, especially SGA. I think actually SGA and CP3 became really good friends after that. Woo! How about a Giannis Antetokounmpo? 47 out of 49. Milwaukee. Mark Russo, who got that in from the pack filler. How about that, man? Sweet hit. Yeah, that, that year with CP3 was awesome. I don't think CP3 really expected OKC to be like that. I feel like when a lot of players think of Oklahoma City, they're just like, what the hell? Oklahoma City, what the hell am I doing here? You know, but they've earned a good reputation amongst players where, like, they love the atmosphere, they love the coaching staffs for the most part, you know, the training facilities, ownership, the GM, right? And then I just think I just think it's more like you think of Oklahoma City, like, what am I going to do here, you know? <laughs> I think that's kind of the problem. But uh, I think a lot of people love it there. And then we got a James Worthy at 25. 24 out of 25. Lakers. Isaac, last ball mojo, man. There you go. For sure. A lot less pressure, man. A lot less pressure. All right. But now for the Thunder, I mean, the pressure's on. They, they have a little bit of a window in the next few years, so they got to get better and hopefully try to win something. All right, so there you go. There's the first case. But wait, there's more. We got a second case. All right. And also, if you guys didn't see, this was case eight. Fifty-five. 
61. And how about a Sword Thompson for the Pistons? Fresh paint autograph to start off. Number to 75 for Detroit. Going to Tristan. Eighty out of a hundred. And how about a GG Jackson for a, uh, Memphis? Going to Mark. 86 out of 88. That's from Choice. Prism Choice. Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young, 63 out of 99, uh, Isaac with that one, I mean I want them to win, I mean I, I'm okay with them being good, right, I don't want them to suck like Detroit, <laughs> but then again, I mean you have to want to win at some point, but I think with the Thunder fans is that, especially the ones that live in OKC, they understand that they don't have the eye appeal of other big big market, big city team, so I think for them to stay relevant, they have to be competitive and also, like I said, kind of prove to the people that, you know, this is a place that you want to play basketball in. But I mean, yeah, I, I think anybody, any fan base would want their team to be in the mix rather than just be horrible, but at some point you want to want to get there to win and obviously Chris Paul there you go CP3 we're talking about it. Suns I mean again I, those those younger years with them it was just going to be kind of impossible for them to win and keep them all there you know especially when Harden left but I just as I'm telling you man it still hurts me to this day when Durant left and just signed with the Warriors man it's like you had them 3-1 to one. you probably move on and maybe even win a championship that year but then you decide to just join the enemy and you know well, obviously they won a couple times there too but that's what I hated it's just like bro you were there so that's why I still feel a specific way about KD Westbrook he's who's always going to be my hard dog I mean OKC always is going to love him and I think Westbrook obviously was going to stay there for his rest of his career, but... Wow. The same Tyler Hero that we hit earlier in another box. He, TJ, I just think out of respect when PG decided to back out, that was their second life right there. When PG signed, when PG got traded to the Thunder, you know, went to the playoffs in that, and he was a free agent or, you know, going to be a free agent, and he said, I'm staying in OKC. You know, I'm staying in OKC. And then Kawhi calls him and tells him, let's win a championship in L.A., let's go back home. But now with the Lakers, with the Clippers, PG's like, yeah, I'm bouncing. I think that's what messed everything up. Like, I think they were well on their way to being a pretty good basketball team there. But when PG decided to just bounce, that just, that's just, you know, that's just what happened. And then the Thunder, out of respect, were just probably like, hey, Westbrook. You know, we're not going to be competitive anytime anytime soon. We're just going to rebuild everything. If you want to be part of it, great, but we'll trade you if you want to go to competitor, con you know, contender, and, and we fully will do that for you. And obviously, I'm sure Westbrook is a competitor wants to win, so decided to, you know, give him a list of teams, and ultimately didn't work out in Houston, but they had a chance there. Wow, nice. Allen Iverson, that's the case hit right there. From Panini, 1-1, one one, 12 out of 49. Uh, 76ers, that is going to Nicholas. There you go, man. 
Yeah. You know, Mellow the Thunder was fun, but yeah, he's he's just about checking threes. He's not he's not about dubs. But yeah, you know, I, like I said, Thunder's been there a couple times. I have a chance, but it just never happened. <sighs> Whoa! Two case hits. So there's times where Hit Parade actually puts a second case hit. And now there's two of them. And it's the Kevin Durant. Of course we talk about Durant. We talk about CP3. And there you go. KD for the Nets. Wow, Tony just hit a home run. Uh, Brooklyn. Burke. There you go. Back-to-back -back case hits. Otani did not do well yesterday on his birthday. Went like Ofer, but today has a triple, has a home run. Is he almost for a cycle? Is he, is he there for a cycle? Oh no, he just has a triple and a home run. Luca, that's right. Who signed with the Dem Oh yeah, Dallas. Dallas has a uh, Clay Thompson over there now, huh? Luca, man, those guys got destroyed in the finals. Siakam to ninety nine. Toronto Raptors going to Isaac. Two more hits, guys. We got a Car Anthony Towns. Collegiate autograph from Immaculate. 2015. Now, of course, still on the same team. Timberwolves going to be fits. one here is a Robert Parrish for the Celtics. Opulent scripts. Number to 25. Celtics Courtney. There you go. On the board. With something. Well, there you go, guys. Nice second case. So this one actually had two case hits. And it seemed like we actually had a lot better names in this half, too, I feel like. With the GG. Or at least more current players that were just draft picks in this past year's draft. This one was nice too, though. Don't get me wrong. The Giannis was nice. Belial, Jamal, but I feel like the second one obviously a little bit better with the two case hits. But like I said, we do have another two cases. So if you guys want to run it back, we do have another two. Now let's switch scenes, guys. And um, do the giveaway. So there's the dice roller. There's the list of names. Roll it. Five and a three, eight times. Here we go. Name number one gets the spot in the chase to mantle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight, eight. Just missed out, Nick Owl. Sorry, buddy. But Eric, you are in. Congrats, man. You have a now 1 in 200 chance to chase the mantle. There you go. Thank you, buddy. And again, guys, another one is in the store. If you guys want to run back the same version, have another two cases of Series uh, 3 basketball. If not, baseball's up there, which should be breaking soon, guys. Thank you.